In the early 1970s, America's national symbol, the bald eagle, was fast disappearing because of pesticide poisoning. Today, their population has made a remarkable comeback. Black-footed ferrets were believed extinct in 1979, and then almost magically, a colony of ferrets was found far off the beaten track in the grasslands of Wyoming and nurtured back to health. These are among the more than 1,200 animals and plants that owe their continued existence to the Endangered Species Act, which turns 30 this weekend. Buck Parker heads Earth Justice, a group that works to protect endangered animals and their habitat. The Endangered Species Act is designed to guide federal projects like the construction of highways and bridges or the operation of dams so they don't kill or harm America's wildlife. The main reason we're losing species is that we're destroying their homes. All right, hi there. In Yellowstone National Park, thousands of people from around the world spend millions of dollars to see wolves and bears, both protected by the Endangered Species Act. Former Republican Congressman Pete McCloskey co-sponsored the Endangered Species Act. You know, it isn't just the, um, the grizzly bear and the bald eagle that we treasure, it's, it's the diversity. Although hundreds of animals are protected under the Endangered Species Act, hundreds more await government action. Scientists say that at its 30th anniversary, the Endangered Species Act is more important than ever, and because of it, America's eagle is here to stay. I'm Jerry Kay, reporting.